Right then, squeegee slingers and water-fed pole wiggling wagglers, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well and welcome back to the Tradman Academy YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how do you find out on Squeegee app what your monthly financial forecast is? Because it's all well and good knowing how much work you've got planned for this month, but knowing what you've got for next month is also very handy to know. So today's tutorial is all gonna be about how Squeegee app can benefit you and knowing how much work you've got in the month ahead. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Right then folks, so I have the computer here in front of me ready to go with Squeegee app all fired up. Now just so you know, this is a demo account, so all the information is not actually real, so there's no data protection breach or anything like that, just so that you're aware. So let's crack on with this tutorial today, how to get a monthly forecast for your next month's worth of work. Let's have a look. So yes, indeed, here we are on the overview of Squeegee app. Now, if you haven't heard of Squeegee app, it's the all-in-one business tool to organize your service business. And as we can see here, we're just on what's called the overview section, okay? So what we need to find is a section called reporting. So what we do is we go down the left-hand side, which is your menu. So we click on the scroll bar here and scroll down until you see reporting. There we have it. So we click on that, and this is where you'll come to find out anything to do with your business, where if it's you want to find out how much your business has made over the year, ready for your accountant, and things like that, or anything to do with your zero account books and things like that, QuickBooks and so forth, this is where you come to find everything. But the section we're looking for today is your monthly forecast for next month. So let's have a look. So we'll scroll down here, and what we're looking for is just nearer the bottom. You can see here it says monthly revenue forecast by round, frequency, and service. This is the one we're looking for, okay? And down the right-hand side, you'll see it's under the tab financial, okay? So we'll click on that. The next thing we have to do is select the date that we want the range to go from and to. So we obviously, for this video is coming out, in uh, the end of January. So we want to know, say for instance, how much money that our round or services are going to accumulate in the month of February. So let's have a look. Let's click on the 1st of February for the start date and we'll click select. Then we'll click for the end date that we want to know is the end of February. So the 28th, so we'll select that. And here we have it. This is the list of jobs that we have that are active on our round and you can also change at the top left here you can change the order in which you're seeing everything so if you have your rounds numbered one two three four five and so on you can change how you see that if you want to see it from the highest number to the lowest number or whatever so it depends on what way you want to view it you can also view it by frequency if we click on this button here called frequency we can change the order that we are seeing things and also the services. You can do the same thing with that. If we click on that, it will change the order in which our services appear. So what we want to do is if we come along to the right hand side of the screen, we'll be able to scroll down to the very bottom to see the grand total of what we're gonna accumulate in the month of February. So you can see all the individual jobs there as I scroll down to the bottom. And there we have it. Now, obviously this is all just pretend customers, pretend figures, okay? So none of this is real. So you can see the number at the bottom of the screen, the grand total of 35,188 pounds. Okay, so that is how you find out how much you have of active customers, what the financial total is for the month. So if you want to find out what it's gonna be for the next six months, or the next 12 months, you do exactly the same thing, but your end date, you just choose when you want that to be. And you can find out how much your business is going to earn you over one month, six months, 12 months, whatever it is that you need to know. Now, the other thing you can do is download this as a CSV file. So if we click on the pink button down the bottom right-hand corner with the three dots, you'll see it says download as CSV. You'll see here that it pops up as an Excel spreadsheet as well. So if you prefer it in that format or you want to export this to someone, then this is how you would do it. You would download it as that CSV file comes up in your Excel 
and then you can do with what you want. So there you have it, folks. That is how you use the monthly forecast feature on Squeegee to see how much your business is gonna make you in the next month or six months or 12 months or whatever you need to know so you can keep track of how your business is doing. Hopefully this video has been useful for you today. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. It'd be lovely if you could do that and we'll see you in the next video. You take care, folks. Be good and remember, Keep on squeegee slinging.